Flavescence dore is a disease caused by a phytoplasm transmitted vine to vine by an insect, a leaf hopper named Scaphoideus titanus. The disease causes economic problems only if both the insect and the phytoplasm are present. Scaphodeus titanus life cycle is entirely on the vine. It lives, eats and reproduces on the lower part of the leaf. Scaphodeus titanus has just one generation per year. It overwinters as an egg below the bark and then in the middle of the spring it hatches. After five juvenile forms it becomes an adult, which is the only form able to fly. The eggs do not hatch at the same time, so in the same vineyard you can sometimes find both adults and juvenile forms. And so you have to be careful on the insecticide treatment timing. Adults are the most responsible for the disease spreading because, since they can fly, they are the form that moves the most in the vineyard. Flavescens dore phytoplasm is a cell wall-less bacteria that lives inside the phloem of the vine. If Scaphoideus titanus feeds on an infected vine, it gets infected as well. Once Scaphoideus titanus is infected, after a latency period of 30 days, it will remain contagious until the end of its life. Luckily, the disease is not passed down to the next generations, so each time an egg etches, the new leaf hopper is not contagious. Today we are going to see how the monitoring of Scaphoideus titanus works. We use a chromatic plate since the adults are particularly attracted by the yellow color. It is possible to put in place this chromatic trap since the larval stadium L4 or L5 is observed, in order to forecast the appearance of the adult. It is advisable to place the trap in the vineyards that historically show the presence of the insect, in order to observe the quantity of the adults and when it reaches the peak. Otherwise, it is possible to use the plate on asymptomatic vineyards, in order to understand if Flavescence doré could be a problem in the future. In order to make things easier, it's possible to fix the trap on the vineyard wire. So the best way to place the trap is to put it as close as possible to the leaves, because the adults are there. Once the trap is placed, it is possible to come and monitor it once every one or two weeks. This trap was placed 10 days ago. Since it's not specific for Scaphideus titanus, a lot of different insects are stuck there. Getting closer, it's possible to detect better the adult form of Scaphideus titanus. Even though this insect is just a few millimeters long, it's quite easy to detect it and the squares on the plates help us to count it. In conclusion, the monitoring of Scaphoideus titanus is done in order to understand when the adult appears in the vineyard, when is the best time to treat, and also is done in order to study the population of the insect in different years.